All right, so in this project, we're going to be building a Twitter bootstrap template with a little bit of animation. And if you don't know what Twitter bootstrap is, it's basically an HTML5 CSS3 framework um, that you can use for building HTML templates. And it's really, really popular. I think one of the reasons is because it's easy to use. Uh, if you go to the bootstrap site, you, there's all kinds of code snippets that you can just plug in and it'll it'll style things buttons blocks um, you can even have javascript components like carousels and, and tabs and things like that drop downs um, and i would say probably within the last year or so um, every html template that i built i'd say about 90 percent of them i've used bootstrap um, just because it's really it's nice and clean and uh, it's really easy to use so let's take a look at what we're going to be building, basically it's a it's a template um, with a lot of different menu items, but we're only going to be building the home page. Um, basically, if you want to build the inner page, it'll be the same code, except you might not want this big showcase area. Um, so basically, if if you saw that, if I reload, you can see that that image comes and slides into place. Um, now I called this template scroll place because what we're going to do is have a little animation that goes off when we scroll down to it. All right, so if I go ahead and scroll down, you can see that this image is actually three images. We have the monitor, and then we have the laptop, and then the tablet and mobile phone are, that's all one image. All right, so we're having both of these on the side slide in when we scroll down. All right, so you can see. And I also have it so if you scroll up, back up, that it goes back into place so you can keep watching it all right so it's a really modern style you see a lot of templates like this now uh, a big showcase area then you have kind of sections that square um, span across the page we have a little footer with some lists all right and you I also have it so when we scroll down the um, header right here actually goes clear okay so the opacity um, it adjusts when you scroll down up and down and we're also going to be using a service called font awesome which gives us these cool little icons here okay so we just have to basically include a class and we can get these icons all right so it's going to be um, probably be a good size project um, but like I said we're not going to do the inner pages uh, we do have a, a little drop down here Okay, so uh, we can resize this. This is a, also a responsive template. Okay, looks really good like this as well. Okay, so this is how it would look. Now, what I did here, I actually have it so when you're viewing it on a mobile phone, we're not going to have that animation just because it's a really small screen and the positioning can get all messed up and not look very good. Uh, but you can see if we go back up to a tablet size, then we have that functionality back. All right, so that's what we'll be building. Let's go ahead and create our folder structure. Oh, and by the way, uh, these images here, I have a PSD that I'm including in the program files, which uh, has the layered um, images here. So well, you, you have the um, desktop on one layer and then the other two images on their own layers. So you can do what you want with that. You can go ahead and change the screen or, or whatever. I just figured I'd include that. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a folder. And let's call this, I'm just going to call it BS template. All right, so we'll create an index file. And now we need to go and get the bootstrap files. All right, so we're going to go to getbootstrap.com and click on download bootstrap. And then right here, download bootstrap. Uh, what the, I don't want that. So open up the zip file. Okay, so 
you'll get this this zip file click on that and what we want to do is bring all of this into our project folder all right so first let's go ahead and look at the CSS folder basically all we need here is bootstrap.css okay we're not using any of the themes or anything like that uh, this one is just a minified version of bootstrap.css meaning there's no comments or white space it's just built um, it's a little smaller but it doesn't really matter we're just going to use bootstrap.css so go ahead and delete the rest of those and then in the javascript folder you have the minified and regular version I'm just going to delete the minified version and this will allow us to have our drop downs and also our responsive menu fonts ha uh, these are actually icons that you can use that's included with bootstrap but we're going to use um, something called font awesome which I'm going to go to now and get so I believe it's font dash awesome right. sorry about that and this is the website all right so what we want to do is click download and we'll open that zip file now on their website if you click on icons right here it shows you all of the icons that are available and there's just a ton of them all right so basically if I click on one of these it's gonna give us the class it's gonna give us the code to put to get the icon basically what we're doing here is using an i tag and adding a class of two classes one is fa you always want to include that and then the actual name of the icon in this case it's fa refresh okay so that's going to give us this icon and to change the size if i just open up chrome tools and I click on one of these bigger ones you can see it has the fa the fa refresh and then fa-5 which is a, it specifies a certain size okay so you can actually change the size of the icons Okay, so that's all we need to do. We just need to include our um, the files here. So what we want to do is in our fonts folder, we want to open up the font awesome fonts folder and then bring these over. Okay, we also want the CSS. Okay, so we're going to bring in font awesome.css. Okay, you don't have to worry about the less or the SCSS. Okay, so that's all we need to do. Now we just need to um, link everything in our HTML file. So let's open that up. Now what I usually do with Bootstrap is I'll go to um, their website and click on examples. All right, and they give you a bunch of examples here. So I'm gonna just click on the starter template. All right, and then I'm gonna do a control U which will allow us to view the source code and then I'm just going to select all of it and copy it. Okay, go back to our index file. I'm going to paste it in and we're just going to change some things. Okay, so we have a basic layout here. Um, we want to keep, we'll keep the character sets, the viewport. We don't need description, author, or favicon. Okay, our title, let's just change that to Scroll place bootstrap template and then to link to our CSS you can see that this is going to um, it's going up a few folders and then into the dist folder ours is going to be right in our CSS folder so we can get rid of this and we're using just bootstrap.css okay now this here this starter template.css is um, just part of the example template that we just saw we don't need this uh, but what we're gonna do is replace this okay with a file called style.css which is the style sheet that we're gonna uh, do our work in and that's gonna be in the CSS folder as well and actually let's create that now before we forget so in the CSS folder I'm gonna create style.css now I want the template for now to look like the demo so if we go to the the uh, sample template here and we do a control U to view the source code 
I'm going to select this starter template CSS and open that and it's just got a, uh, some padding for the body and then um, a class here so I'm just gonna copy this for now and put that in the style CSS that we just created and save it all right so as you can see we have an, uh, the navigation is included in this sample template and then there's just a little there's a heading there's a div with a heading and a paragraph uh, and then down here we have a reference for jQuery and then for the bootstrap JavaScript file now we want to remove this here this is dist and then these um, dots and slashes so it's just goes to the JavaScript folder and then bootstrap dot min we want to get rid of this dot min because we just have bootstrap dot js and then this here we can delete and if we save that now our template should look like the sample template so I'm going to close all these and go ahead and open up the index file and there we go okay so we have something to work with and you can see that if we make the screen smaller we have a responsive menu Okay, so we get this drop down for mobile devices, so it's really cool. Um, so in the next video, we'll start to customize this, we'll add some content, um, and start creating some CSS, and then we'll move on to animation.